Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video. As a quick note, all this footage was shot during my last visit in Taiwan, which was way before the COVID-19 crisis. Also, once I started editing this video, I realized my narration portion sucked. So I decided to create a better narration tour for this video. So without further ado, let's get started. With only a quick gondola ride away from the bustle and scooter swarms of Taipei City is the mountain escape of Mekong Village. This area is covered in tree-lined hills, beautiful rivers, waterfalls, temples, and of course, tons of tea fields. While being in Mekong Village feels though you've been spirited away to another world, it is remarkably easy to get there. While there are roads up the mountain, the most scenic and fun way to reach Mekong Village is through the gondola cable car ride. Hey, make sure you check out my previous video featuring the gondola cable car ride. Although Mekong Village is an ideal escape from Taipei's bustle, it still becomes very crowded with people hoping to get their own slice of calmness. So, if you get there early in the morning, Mekong Village will be largely empty and yours to explore without crowds. While Mekong Village has a little something to offer everyone, I could have easily spent the entire day hiking, but I decided to immediately hit the tea houses, which to be fair, is Mekong Village's main draw. The soil, humidity, and the warmth of the mountains makes Mekong area the ideal area for tea plantations, which led the area to becoming famous for its unique variety of oolong teas. While there's no shortage of tea houses in Mekong Village, I decided to visit the Shi Yi Tea House first. It's about a five minute walk from the gondola station. It's a beautiful traditional tea house with this wonderful water garden inside and offers a variety of teas and snacks and maybe most importantly it offers some of the most spectacular views of the mountainside and the city of Taipei below. Once I was full of tea it was just a short walk to the pothole trail. It's an easy trail. Uh, the pothole trail leads past tea plantations before descending into the forest with this cool rope bridge overhanging a mountain stream. Uh, in the river and deposited all around the banks are these famous pothole rocks of Mekong and it allegedly gave the region its name. Once you're done exploring the area, the pothole trail will drop you off back towards the gondola station. It's also close to this beautiful and panoramic Shan Shi Chi Tea House. Uh, it's a great place to pick up uh, tubs of tea to take back for gifts for your family as well. Once you're close to the gondola station, there's also a number of more modern cafes and street vendors where you can get all sorts of well-deserved post-hike goodies like the red bean or mocha shakes or even the green tea crepes. like these types of videos and want to see more make sure you hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up share with your friends uh, hey the temple covers a large part of the mountain and over the years it's been expanded to have three different temple buildings now each of the temples have their own shrines dedicated to various gods also the temple is very well known throughout Taiwan as being somewhat of a cursed place for couples the local legend has it that young unmarried couples who visit the temple will quickly break up due to a bit of celestial tampering in their love life. It's said that Lu's sexual prowess is second to none and he easily becomes jealous of young couples who visit the temple. So he does his best to destroy their relationship. Couples also avoid the temple in an attempt to maintain a healthy, stable relationship. While the temple may be infamous for its powers of destroying young love, it is famous for the long staircase leading up to the temple. It has over 1,200 steps. Before the gondola was completed, to get to the temple, you either had to uh, take a car or take a bus to the area and then walk up the steps to get to the temple. 
I'm told the steps can be a bit steep, but when you get to the top, I'm told there's a great view of the city below, and I imagine a sense of accomplishment as well. The long steps leading up the mountain to the temple are somewhat reminiscent of all the older uh, mountain temples in China when I was there, and it makes for the temple attractive to tourists as well as it gives you the feeling that you're really in Asia while visiting Taipei. Now, I personally skipped the stairs though, and I took the gondola and got off at the temple station, uh, which is the last stop before arriving at Mekong Village, and only a short walk to the temple from the station. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my journey throughout the Mekong Village and the Xi'an Temple area. And of course, if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel below and giving this video a thumbs up and sharing with your friends. So until next time, have a great day in Taiwan.